How's it going, everybody? I'm Patrick Static, and welcome to part two of the mail vlog, which I've been, it was, this was supposed to go up on Sunday, but with the charity stream and everything, it got a little busy, but uh, I apologize for not getting it out sooner, but I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Um, I, I think a couple of you guys are going through midterms. Well, if you guys are going through midterms, I wish you good luck on them. Study hard, but I do hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Um, before we start the mail video, I did want to tell you guys an update to the St. Jude charity stream that we did this last Saturday. Our goal was $7,000, and we totally exceeded the goal. I think our total number was like $7,110 or $9, and, uh... It was just so freaking cool to hit. So thank you everybody that was part of it and that donated, that shared the stream, that uh, that that told people about it and showed up for the... It was 15 hours long. We streamed for a very long time. We played a bunch of games. If you guys want to see the video or the... You know, if you guys want to see the whole thing, it's over on Twitch. I mean, I'm thinking about arcing it over to uh, YouTube. I'm sorry I keep rubbing my nose. I've got allergies right now, but... uh. I don't know if we'll bring it over to YouTube because I played some copyright music when I, when I took my break and stuff, but uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. Thank you, Wade, again for raiding us. It was a lot of very helpful raid. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get to the mail as I've been meaning to get to this because it's long overdue. So let's jump into the first letter. The first letter we got is from Becca Pugh once again I'm from Craig, Colorado. I want to say this is like, our, I think it's Becca's third. I think it's her third letter to us. I could be wrong. Becca has included a freaking Joker mask from Persona. Oh my gosh. This is cool. Look at that. Oh my God. That's awesome. Okay, let's read, let's read Becca's letter. Cause oh my God, just love that. It says, Hi, friendo. Hey, hello, yo, hola. Oh my gosh. Just a bunch of hellos in different languages. That's awesome. Okay, no more hellos for now. Anyway, I hope your day has been going well. My day has been going fantastic. We just got done recording a bunch of uh, Seven Days to Die with Molly, Wade, Gar, and JP. It's a lot of fun. So that will be up on the channel sometime, maybe even today. I don't even freaking know. But um, you said that you wanted Joker's Mask from Persona 5, which we've been streaming a lot of that on, on Twitch. And uh, I'm going to be arcing that over to YouTube. I've been meaning to do that. So anyway... So I had made you one with supplies I had in my room. Yes, I told you with the gift. Deal with it. So I didn't um, make it wearable since I have no idea the size of your face. But I hope you have a great day and night, female marauder Becca. Female marauder Becca, thank you so much for the Joker mask. Dude, this is so freaking cool. It's going on my, it's going on somewhere on my freaking shelf. But this is sick. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw. So I actually commissioned, um, the amazing Kuro to uh, her name is Kuro, but I, I commissioned her to make a like I wanted to make a t-shirt design of myself as Joker from Persona 5 and Ophelia as uh, Morgana if you guys are catching up on the series and this is the picture Kuro came up with it's amazing and I love it so much Kuro thank you again for doing this but um I don't know if Atlas has got like a stick up the butt where I wouldn't be able to make it a t-shirt design so I decided not to. So it's like a special design for saying when I go live and stuff on Twitch. But I freaking love it. And I love the freaking mask. This is awesome, Becca. Thank you so much. I love this. Our next letter is from Alex Ott from Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, I want to say we've gotten this. I want to say we've gotten a letter or two from Alex as well. That's the cool thing. A lot of you guys send multiple letters, which is freaking awesome. I love it. Um, also, if you guys want to send me letters, I will have a link down to the, or not a link, but my P.O. box information down below if you feel like it. It's never forced upon. If you guys want to, it's there. I've got a bunch of friend art. Oh my gosh, Alex. Okay, let's get to the letter first. The letter. Always. All right, this is Dear Pat. I hope you've had a wonderful, uh, wonderful Easter holiday. Again, these are kind of old. I apologize. This one was dated when? April 20th. So yeah, just... Just a little old, it's like a whole month old. I'm sorry, Alec. Uh, I had a good vacation. I got to spend time with my family. Recently, I haven't been feeling, I've been feeling really good about myself and I've not been so negative about anything. That is awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I've been seeking professional help and I've never felt better. Uh, recently, I've been watching and re-watching a lot of your videos and it's great watching them. 
Uh, which ones? I've actually been wondering that. Like, what are your guys' favorite videos on the channel? Do you guys have a favorite series or favorite thing that I do? Whether it's single player stuff like Slime Ranchers or um, like Binding of Isaac. Or or do you guys like more like multiplayer stuff that I do with the guys like Gmod or um, the forest with Gar? But what do you guys like? I've been wondering that because I want to do more of what you guys like watching. Uh, we've been playing Uno a lot too. A lot of the videos that I've been posting are like live stream highlights because I w wanted to record it when I did it, but my recording thing didn't work. Regardless, back to Alex's letter. Uh, over time, I've seen a, I've sent a lot of friend art with a letter. Reason being is that most of my art usually ends up missing or in the recycling. I never really thought I was a good artist, but I try. Uh, whenever I get to watch your your streams or your videos, I always get a laugh or a smile, and it makes my day. I love hearing that. I really do. Thank you for being an amazing YouTuber. It really makes my day to watch one of your videos or waves because your rage kills them with laughter. Yes, I do. Well, I, I like making Wade rage. Otherwise, he likes making me rage, which is not fun. But uh, also, congrats on the new kitty. It's pretty kitty. Keep being awesome, and we all love you, Pat. Have a fantastic day and a great year. You're awesome. Sincerely, Alex. Uh, P.S. Sassy Snivy. Sassy Snivy for the win. Alex, thank you so much for the letter. And I'm glad to hear you're, you're seeing things more positively. I'm super happy to see that. Uh, Alex also sent us some friend art. I'm super excited to see. Oh, I don't know what these are titled, but these look really freaking cool. We got a sword and a bow and arrow, which looks sick. It's the static sword and the static bow. Okay, so this is the thing. I really love bow and arrows, like just archery in general. Um, it's going to sound really dumb. I don't know how many of you guys went to science camp when you were younger. I went to science camp and they had like an archery class that you could take and um there was only like 12 people that signed out or signed up out of like the 80 people that were there and i was one of the first like four or eight people there because every day there was like three or four days i want to say of us being at science camp and i think it was like that long it might have been just three days but uh could have been a week i don't remember uh, i just remember doing the archery and I hit bullseye once, kind of. Didn't really count. I mean, I, I nicked it, but it was only from like five feet away. So I really like archery. I want to get into it, but uh, God, I love that. Oh, and then we got a Peppa Pat 2x4. We got a little happy derp nugget to happy. That's the emote name on Twitch. But it's my little, look at the freaking little dude. It's so cute. <laughs> I freaking love this. Damien did a fantastic job with this, but Alex, I love the coloring you did. This is really cool. Thank you so much for the friend art and the amazing letter. Keep keep, keep being positive, man. A third letter comes from Amy Reynolds from Waterbury, Connecticut. Connecticut. Connecticut is a long time, and this was dated April 24th. So apologize, I, apologies, many, many apologies again. I'm trying to go in the, the, the latest it was to the more recent letters. Um, I haven't been to the post office this week yet. I'm supposed to go either tomorrow or Friday. Um, me recording this, it's Wednesday. So, or me posting this, it's Wednesday. Um, but I apologize if you guys have sent me a letter. I haven't been to see it. I haven't been to the P.O. Box yet. Again, I'm, I'm so busy with the charity stream and work stuff. And, and it's just, it's been crazy. So I apologize. Anyway, let's read Amy's letter. It says, hey, Pat. Here is the second fan art, fan art piece that I made for you. I'm sorry for getting it to you so late. I'm sorry for reading this so late. Uh, moving took forever and uh, the process was very stressful. I sent you the first part of the fan art from Florida, remember? Ah! I have to yawn. I get really yawny when I read. I apologize. I don't, it's something about me and my head not getting enough oxygen or something weird. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the second half of the art that I made for you and I never stop, and never stop being you. Sincerely, Amy Reynolds. Uh, Instagram is Super Amestis 2015. Twitter is ANR2015. Oh, wait. Ames, Amesters. Amesters. That's what it is. Super Amesters. And then YouTube is Super Amesters. It's with an A M E S T E R S, I think. Anyway, P.S. Uh, Connecticut life is chilly, but I'm settling in nicely. Um, I showed you how to pronounce my Instagram and YouTube name. Also, my Twitter handle is my initials, but I forget. I forgive you for butchering my stuff. Hashtag, we love you, Pat. 
Thank you so much for telling me the pronunciation, because everyone knows I butcher everyone's name. Not on purpose, I just can't English at all. I, I really can't. I can't pronounce cramp. But, oh my gosh, so oh, cool. It's actually more of Gar's color, but I love this. Amy sent us our cool little gang beast bear. I think we're more purple, but that's okay. It says, maybe my friend ass is blocking it. And then we got police brutality and then fan art, friend art by Amy. And then it says me. That's so freaking cool. Amy, I freaking love the little teddy bear. I love my teddy bear. Also, again, we I think the last uh the last uh mail vlog i did i showed you guys the riggedy emote that we got because a lot of people wanted the riggedy 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 rack emote and uh we have an emote on twitch for the riggedy rack stuff it's freaking awesome but amy thank you so much for the friend art i freaking love it thank you so much moving right along to the next letter from cassandra oh my god uh cassandra de mario mario from ave maria florida that sounds awesome. Ave Maria. That's like, I think that's, is that Southern Florida? I think I could be wrong. My nose itches again. Let's go ahead and read it. Cassandra or Cassie. I don't know how you print. I don't know how you want to go by. I know some Cassies go by Cassie and not Cassandra. But yeah. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, we have a letter to Marie. Oh my goodness. Hold on. This one's straight from Marie. This is, hey, Marie. I'm going to give this to Marie here in a second. Because that's not for me. I'm not going to read Marie's letter. Anyway, I don't want to, you know, it's, it's for Marie, not me. Anyway. It says, hey, Pat, I sent you some more friend art. I added some of the lines from the video games or raps at the bottom. Question, and have you played Mass Effect and Mass Effect Andromeda? I've never played any of them. I've been watching Molly stream them because I know she hasn't played them and she's kind of playing through them right now. But, yeah, I've never played any of the Mass Effect games. I don't know if it's one that I would stream or something, but it'd probably be something i play on my off time. But with me going streaming all the time, who knows? Um, I'm addicted to the game. Hell, I'm writing a fanfic of it. It's up on archive of our own called Pathfinder and Commander. Still updating, but people love it. Check it. Keep up the epic content, fandom enforcer. Dude, thank you so much for that. I'm gonna have to check out the, uh, I'm gonna have to check that out. I know MK's, she gets really into, like, making fanfics and stuff, too. Like, her, her big thing that she loves is Dead Space. And she made, like, a really long, I don't know if she's gonna kill me for saying this. She made a really good fanfic of Dead Space 3. Um, I forget what the, there was a special ship that it was called. I know in Dead Space 1, I think it was called the Ishimura. I think that, I think... That was the uh, the ship in the main one, but the third one, I I, I haven't played Dead Space three all the way, um, but there's a special ship with a bunch of bull riders or something. Like the main thing was a bull, and Marie wrote a big fanfic about that, and uh, she's very passionate about Dead Space. She loves the crap out of Isaac Clarke. But let's see what we got else. Cassandra has also sent us a Overwatch symbol, which I love everything about Overwatch. Except the PvP ask the actual game. <laughs> if it has to do with like me versus like a computer, I'm told it's okay with that. If it's against another player, I get really salty and things get broken. Not really, but I get really mad. So I just don't, I just avoid the game. It says the world needs us more than ever. Will you join me? Winston scientist. That's awesome. We got the freaking Overwatch logo. The next one we got is need a Pathfinder JT Machinima. Feels like home Mass Effect Adron Adronima Adron Oh my god, I can't speak. It's from Mass Effect. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, Goober is doing some stuff over there. I apologize if that was loud. And then the last picture we got is just ask writer JT Machinima feels like home Mass Effect Andromeda again. And this is I don't know who this guy is, because I've never played Mass Effect. But it looks freaking good, man. That's some good it looks like JP a little bit. I'm gonna call it JP, even though it's not JP. Cassandra, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the letters. I'm gonna go give this one MK, cause it's hers. But thank you. Our next letter comes from a Kalista O. Molinsky. Molinsky, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. From Wisconsin. Um, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oshkosh, my gosh. Uh, Wisconsin. Thank you so much, Kalista, for sending me a letter. I gotta open it up first though. Okay, let's see. What did we get? Miss Callista. Ooh. Okay, it says, don't mind that. Oh, this is from... I 
don't know the date. Never mind. I'm trying to date the things because I know I'm really behind. And I feel really, really bad. Anyway, it, the letter says, Dear Patrick, hi there. I'm sending this before my package to you gets sent out. Um, you are amazing and funny. You helped me through when I found out that a year ago... Oh, wait. You helped me through when I found out that a year ago I found out that my grandpa got cancer. And it's a difficult time. And with my autism, I can get really bad. I'm so happy that I found you from Wade, and I think you guys should play more, um... Insult Simulator and Who's Your Daddy. Insult Simulator we could definitely do. With Who's Your Daddy, there's really nothing new out, so we can't really do anything yet. Uh, but it says, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, sincerely, Callista M. Uh, or on YouTube, it is Star Wars Lover 81 and on Twitch, it's Harley Quinn Fan 13 That name I recognize. I'm sorry to hear that your grandpa got cancer a year ago. I hope things are going well with any kind of therapy that he's going through and um let me know how that's all going but Callista also did some a little static kitty drawing and a triforce drawing for us we could do a little triforce i love the try i mean i got tattooed on my arm but so i'm a nerd and this is ps i have a project i need to draw 10 faces so i'll be drawing your face for it and i hope you don't mind i don't mind at all and then on the back it says, I hope this got to you, and if you allow me to draw your face, then I will. it will come after I get it graded from class. You're gonna get it graded in class? People are gonna see my face! That's gonna be weird! I hope they don't mind my, my ugly smug. But on the back, we've got- Ooh, dude! This Pokeball thing looks awesome! Okay, so on the back here, Callista included a really cool Pokeball. I'm holding it wrong. But there's also a Bulbasaur, like, bulb. A Charmander tail, a Squirtle tail, and a Pikachu tail. But this Pokeball looks sick, dude. That is freaking awesome. Oh, I love that so much, Callista. Thank you so much for the letter. I do hope that your grandpa is doing well. And thank you for the friend art. This is amazing. It's amazing. I'm gonna read some oh she jumped away I was gonna say I'm gonna read some letters for Goober but she didn't want to read any letters <laughs> the next letter we got though is from a Shelby Williamson from Olio Missouri from May 1st so I'm getting closer to the most current date I apologize again that I'm so late all these I'm so sorry Shelby forgive me forgive me Okay, let's go ahead and see what Shelby has included in the letter. No, Goober, you can't touch that. I, I put the, I'm putting the envelopes on the chair right over here, and she's like, <gasps> kind of a thing. Ooh, we got a bunch of friend art. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's read the letter first. Always the letter. It says, hey, Pat, my name is Shelby, but you can call me Squirrel like my friends. I will start calling you Squirrel. Squirrelly Shelby. That sounds weird. I am 11 years old, but most people think I'm older because I'm so tall. So tall. Being tall is not a bad thing. Something that me and Mark want because he's super short. But uh, I'm 5'6 and almost as tall as my parents and teachers. Holy crap! Damn, that's super tall. Um, I've been bullied since I was really young for various reasons. More recently, I've been bullied for my sexuality. Don't let people bully you for that. That's stupid. Whoever's bullying you for that are stupid, man. I'm saying it right now. Um, my teachers sometimes treat me differently than other students. That's messed up. Teachers, don't do that. That's totally screwed up. I have friends that are teachers. Uh, one of my close friends, Violet, is like, I, I believe she is a teacher, but she's like down in Mexico right now training kids. It, she's awesome, but like, teachers aren't supposed to be like that. They're supposed to treat everyone equally, and that's grinds my gears. It doesn't help that I'm the youngest student in my grade also. I sometimes have dark thoughts, but you, Wade, Gar, and JP have really helped me. And now I live with my grandpa and grandparents. Oh, grandma and my parents. The only, the only reason that I still go to school is because my grandpa was the president of the school board for over 20 years? That is a long time, man. Uh, my little sister, Jaden, has his way... Has way more friends than I do, but I have really good ones. Even though I'm bullied, I'm still... I'm still got, I'm, I've still got many academic awards. 
Dude, that's awesome. See, you're still looking on the positive side of things. Like, even though, like, regardless of the stupid people at your school bullying you, being total jerkheads, you're still getting a better at, like, you're getting better academic awards and education than they are. So big thumbs up and high five to you. As for your, your brother, or your, I'm sorry, your little sister Jaden having more friends than you, my sister and my brother, my younger brother and younger sister have way more friends than I do. Well, that's not true. I have all you guys as my friends, so I outrank them. Ha ha, I am the king. Not really. But I don't have a lot of, I guess, real life friends. I have maybe one or two at most that I see on very garble moons, if you know what I mean. I, I don't, I don't get to see them as often because after high school, all my friends kind of went their separate ways. They went to diff- As I was talking, Goober was climbing up my freaking closet shelf here in the back of the camera. I apologize for that. Um, as I was saying before my little squirrel was going somewhere, uh, a lot of my friends from high school all moved away and went to their jobs or colleges and stuff like that. So I lost kind of- I lost contact with a lot of them. Uh, which really, really saddens me. One of my friends, Zach, who lives in San Francisco area, um, I get to talk to him about once a week or so, and I'm, I'm happy with that. But other than that, I have you guys, this amazing community, you know, this big family, all my friends with you guys I get to talk to on Twitch or through the comments or through your guys' emails or even just through these letters that you guys send me. So I get to have this little personal conversation with you guys, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I, I love having you guys as my friends and I love my friends friends but it's not it's not it's so much different having you guys here because I don't know I don't get to see them all the time I don't get to see all of you guys all the time and I do want to do an Omegle meetup where I can meet you and see you guys because putting faces with names is fantastic and great and stuff and I I want to do that again so I gotta talk to you guys about that after this because it is something I want to talk about but back back to the letter uh Shelby squirrel I'm sorry squirrel has showed us done some little friend art down at the bottom of page of little Ophelia so me and little MK it's adorable and Ophelia being a little troublemaker jumping up and stuff anyway on the back of the page says I used to hide my feelings because I feel like I have to be strong for my family don't don't bottle your feelings up that's one thing that I do too often and bottling up a lot of your feelings can it's 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 pushing the explosion of that bottled up feelings off to another time because there's sometimes where I'll bottle it up and then later like like a week or two later I explode with emotion and I get either get really upset I get really mad with myself and I, I can't sit still I have to just fix something even though nothing needs to be fixed don't don't bottle your feelings up it's the worst thing you could do um, well, I love drawing uh, to take my mind off things, so I made you some stickers. <gasps> I love stickers and drawings. I hope you and the Fruit Loops like them. I've got a Twitter, at, and it is at NoodleBean11. Well, thank you so much, Squirrel, for the freaking amazing letter. Oh, and she drew some stuff. It says the sixth youngest and the first oldest, and it shows her family. So the fifth is me. I uh, got Jaden, Caleb, Madison, Hope, and Sam. And then on the back is all of them. And then on the far left, this one right here, is our little Shelby squirrel. It's so freaking cute. I freaking love it. Dude, Shelby, I hope I can call you. You asked me to call you squirrel, so I'll call you squirrel. Keep up the amazing artwork. Keep up your drawing, because I really love your art style. It's amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. The squirrel also... Little squirrel. I'm gonna have to say it with a cute little voice like that because I just can't help it. We sent us some stickers. The first one, I just, I love, I just randomly picked it. Gar hacks. I'm gonna send this to Gar. I'm just gonna make him post right on his head. All the time. We have a, a Gar Coco sticker. I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna be Gar. Gar for a day. We got the J Par. I don't know if you guys can see it. J Par. We've got Wade. We've got me. That's exactly how I spell my name too. It's always a whoosh, 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 straight lines because I'm weird. We've got, oh, look at the little Wade head. Look at, go, 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 go,
is Wade. It is the Gar. I love Gar's hair. Gar's hair is so cool. <laughs> We've got a JP. Little JP. Look at JP's hair. Fucking JP. JP is super tall too, man. And then we got me with the Gengar beanie. Oh my gosh. Gengar looks so ticked off. It's so cool. That's me. I love this. This is so cool. We got, oh, we got Wade's logo, which is a cute little Wade with a crown. A W with a crown. I don't know. A lot of you guys probably do know this. Wade's logo was, not the, not the crown, but his main, like, Minecraft avatar was made after Mark's. He's supposed to be, like, anti-Mark kind of a thing. I always thought it was really funny. Uh, we got a little pickle that says, I'm JP and I love myself pickles. Got a little sticker for pickles. I'm going to have to give these to the guys when I see them next time. Oh, we got a little derp nugget me. Look at Oh, ah. This is like the new trademark of the channel because it's always a little cute me. I love it. And then the last thing that was Squirrel sent us was a little YouTube love heart. It's amazing. I love it. Squirrel, thank you so much for the stickers, the letter. And don't let people bully you, man. And if people are going to be stupid and bully you, just totally ignore them. They're going to be like, you're stupid for blood blood. Just walk away. Just be like, wow. Feel the salt, bro. Just totally ignore them, man. You're so much better than they are. It will always be. They're the lowest of the low. Don't bully people. I don't like bullies. Bullies. No. Anyway, Squirrel, thank you so much for the stickers. I freaking love them. Stay amazing. Moving right along to the next letter from Catherine Green from North North North, North, North Richlands Hills from Texas. All right. That got really weird. This was on May 1st as well. All right. So I, I apologize again that I'm going to be saying the dates because I feel bad that it's taken me two and a half weeks, almost a month to read a bunch of these, which just makes me feel terrible. I feel terrible. All right. Let's go ahead and read Zalata. All right. Catherine says, Dear Patrick, I really love your videos. They always make my day so much better. So glad to hear. Uh, I like that you play some other games that some YouTubers don't play, like Slime Rancher. It's astonishing that you don't have millions of subscribers. Maybe one day. But uh, you deserve so many more subs. I hope that someday I will be able to come to VidCon and meet you. Thank you for everything that you do. P.S. Static Kitty is really adorable. I agree. Uh... I don't know what DFTBA means, but it says DFTBA Catherine. Catherine, thank you so much for the letter. On the letter, there's a little Pokeball and a little kitty. I don't know if you guys can see at the bottom. But, uh, I appreciate the nice comment that you said about me not playing a lot of the games that other people do. I know a lot of people played Slime Rancher when it first came out. Uh, it's just a game that I find super cute and adorable and stuff, and, uh, I need to play more of it because of how cute and adorable and stuff it is. And I, I don't know, I like, I don't, like, I get a lot of requests. Like, we're gonna get real talk here for a quick second. I get a lot of crest, uh, requests for me to play games that a lot of bigger YouTubers like Jack and, and Mark and Pews or Ken or even Wade play. And I don't necessarily want to play the exact same game because it'd be just like when Outlast 2 came out. And I need to finish that. I do want to finish it. Um, I didn't get to actually play it over on the St. Jude Charity live stream this last weekend because I got busy with other games. But I, like when Outlast 2 came out, that's a perfect example, is everybody was playing it. And and I got tweets from you guys like, Mark's playing it, Jack posted it, Pew's posted it, I posted it, Gar posted it, JP posted it. Like, every, I don't think Gar actually played it yet. Everybody, everybody was playing it. You know, it was just, all, everybody on YouTube, Outlast 2. And, and that's just a perfect example. I don't want to play... Like, when, when a new game comes out like that, everybody kind of swarms to it. And that's kind of why I backed off certain games, like Night in the Woods. I noticed a bunch of other people were playing, and that's why I was like, I'm going to step back. And that's why I play a lot of older games now, like Binding of Isaac. I have a lot of fun. Like, I truly love that game down to its core. And not a lot of people play it. That's why it's totally different. And some of you guys that are watching are like, I've never seen this game before. It's a lot of friggin' fun. And uh, th there's, a, there's a lot of games I want to start playing again. Like, I think Subnautica is getting into its final stages of development. Um, I know I've been, I've, I've always been tracking Subnautica because it's always got updates and stuff on Steam. And so I'm reading the dev notes and stuff and they just added this, that, and the other. I'm like, well, maybe we'll start making, maybe we'll do a Subnautica thing, maybe. But uh, I don't know, that's why I don't play a lot of the big popular titles that everybody else is playing. 
So if you guys suggest a game to me and you notice so and so or so and so just started playing it, I may veer off of it for a while just to kind of not follow the trend of everybody playing the exact same game. And I hope that doesn't offend anybody when I say that. I'm just being straight up honest with you guys because I don't know. I like being different, you know, just like playing different games sometimes. Anyway, off of the real talk now. Uh, Catherine sent us some friend art. I'm super excited to see it. Oh, and we have our cute little rickety, 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 get it, rack. Little gang beast dude. I don't even know what my gang beast name is. My little bear, though. My rickety, 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 rack. I freaking love that. That's awesome, Catherine. Thank you so much. I freaking love, dude. I love this. I love the little me and just. Everything I love the little drawings you guys do of Ophelia, a little goober. Where's Goober? Oh no, she tried to climb my, my shelf a minute ago. But thank you so much, Catherine, for the letter and and the compliment and the, and the art. I love it so much. Moving right along to the next letter from Michaela Michaela Treadway from Croton, Ohio. Hope I pronounced that right. This is actually one from April 14th. Okay, we were in May. Now we're in April again. This this is a month old, and I apologize so much, Michaela, for getting this late. I feel terrible. I'm a terrible person. Okay, let's. Oh, we got some friend art, but we've also got a friend letter. Let us read the letter. It says, "Hey, friend. I know Mr. Makes you feel old, but I have sent you an email already, and it's up to you whenever or not uh, to read it out loud. I gotta do the freaking email." letter recording thing that I said I was gonna and I'm terrible at doing things I'm sorry but uh it says but consider that to be a part of this letter as I mentioned in the email I was bullied when I was younger and started self-harming in the second grade watching your videos has saved my life multiple times having been bullied I have a hard time believing that anyone truly cares about me when I found your channel I naturally scuffed at the idea of you calling me a friend because how could someone ever love me or for that matter like me but I still enjoyed watching your videos because they made me smile. After a while, I started watching your streams and replying, reaching out to your tweets. And one day I found you that you had actually responded to me. Naturally, I was shocked that someone like you would waste time on likes of me. First thing, okay, I'm gonna interrupt you right now. None of you guys are ever a waste of time. Ever, 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 every single one of you are a blessing don't ever think of yourself as a waste of time a waste of space a waste of life you guys are so important not just to me as my friend or or like it like a number or whatever crap on youtube you guys are amazing people you guys are so talented so smart and whether you guys think so or not you're gonna be like pat you say this day. no you guys are seriously amazing Look at what you guys have done for charity, whether you guys donated personally or shared the stream or were just there, whether you guys were lurking, you know, just sitting there, not chatting, just watching, or, or you guys were there supporting. Whether you donated or not, you were there supporting the stream. You were there for a cause, which was to bring awareness to St. Jude or whatever charity we've ever done, you know. Don't ever think of yourself as anything less than amazing than great you know don't 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 be so negative you guys are all amazing back to the letter um someone like you just meaning that you are incredibly sweet and caring but nonetheless i still thank you for responding to me uh my twitter name is mickey underscore t underscore 99 in case you were curious that tweet i was referring to then i started being more active in the chat of your streams as Phyllis99, Phyllis, I know who you are now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking shower you with love the next stream. And I was even more surprised when you responded to me and actually laughed at some of my comments. Cause you're freaking funny, dude. Don't think of yourself as not funny. I just consider myself to be this volatile and untouchable person. So I began to believe and trust that you actually want, that you actually wanted to that you can actually meant what it what you said and you cared and then i drew you the fan art in the envelope and tweeted it i found that you liked it and my smile couldn't be taken from my face someone that 
someone thought that something I made was good. I don't think those will be there in time for the next Static Saturday vlog, but I wanted you to know that you were an amazing person. Somehow, you got me to believe that I am not as fed up as I thought. No one but my boyfriend has even done that, so thank you. I love your face. Michaela Trendway. Pronounced Michaela. Michaela, I hope that's right. Some, say, some people say Michaela. I think it's Michaela. Mik I hope I'm pronouncing it right. P.S. Since you're a friend, can I call you Mickey? Since you're a friend, you can call me Mickey. Also, I love your Guitar Hero streams. I will definitely do more of that, Phyllis. I want to call you Phyllis, just because that's how I know your Twitch handle, but Mickey. I'm going to call you Mickey from now on. But, uh, thank you for the very nice letter. And I'm sorry if I missed your email. I, I will make a, a big point to go back and find it if I haven't already responded. But, uh, don't, don't feel... And, and this is to Mickey and anyone else watching. Don't ever feel that you aren't important. I don't want anybody ever feeling like that. And I will do anything in my power to show you guys how important and amazing you are. At least to me. And you guys honestly complete and make me so happy. I'm gonna get super emotional. I can't get emotional. Okay, Mickey has sent us some friend art as well. Let's go ahead and check this out. I see a Binding of Isaac thing. I'm already excited. Ooh! There's Binding of Isaac. There's a Derp Nugget. There's Pikachu, Pokemon, Slenderman, Ultimate Chicken Horse, and a big Guitar Hero. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So we got Ultimate Chicken Horse right down here. We got the Binding of Isaac and Derp Nugget and more Binding of Isaac up here with Pokemon, the Guitar Hero, and Mr. Slenderman. I haven't done Slender in such a long time. I haven't played Guitar Hero in a long time. But Mickey, thank you so much for the friend. I freaking love this. Oh my god. I, I seriously freaking. This is awesome, man. I love this so much. The only thing that would make this more perfect. Something referring to art. Because I freaking love art. Anyway. Mickey, thank you so much for the freaking letter. You are amazing and important. I love you. Our next letter comes from Gabby T from Antelope, California. California, what? Antelope, what? I don't even know where Antelope is. I'm gonna be straight up honest. I don't. I want to say it could be north of me, but I'm probably wrong. California is big. I don't know if you guys have seen a picture of California, but it's huge. It's huge. Okay. Anyway, we've got this one, and this one is stated. It doesn't say. I'm sure. Maybe. Hopefully, we'll say in the stream or in the stream. It'll say it in the letter, but we got a beautiful Disney princess sticker sheet. Who's your guys' favorite Disney princess? That's a tough one for me. I want to say Jasmine or Ariel are my favorite. I've got a thing for girls with colored hair. I really like colored hair, just in general. But, you know, I just, I like chicks with colored hair. I do, I do. Anyway, off of that topic. <laughs> Let's read Zaletta says, Dear April 7th. Oh my goodness. It actually is dated and so freaking long ago. I'm so sorry. It says, Dear Derp Nugget Patrick Static. I know you don't like the Mr. Apologize. He's like, I wanted to send this a while ago, but school got in the way. But now I'm in, I'm on break. So yeah. I'm sorry I haven't got to it because I'm freaking busy and stupid and stuff. So. I'm sorry. Anyway, it says, Hello, my name is Gabby, but I go by Fooey Girl on Twitch. Fooey Girl, I know you. I'm 17 years old, and I have only been watching you for a short while. I found you through Wade when you guys started playing Finding Bigfoot, but the first video of yours I watched was your Cards Against Humanity. Oh my gosh, that video. Well, not that exact video, but that series just... It was a tough, that's a tough series, man. Also, I do want to shout out before I do this, a couple of you guys have made a custom, like, um, custom Cards Against Humanity deck for us on the Zizzy or Play Yourself or I forget what the website is but uh if you guys want to make us a custom like Fruity Loops like custom Cards Against Humanity deck do it and comment or tweet it at me or even send it to me an email so we can use it in a future recording I'm trying to get Wade to like we need to do this because it's going to be fun but anyway let's get back to Gabby's letter 
Uh, since then, I have been having a blast watching other videos you've done yourself and with the Fruit Loops. I want to say thank you for many things. Being the oldest in my family is kind of hard, and watching you makes it feel like I have the big brother I always wanted. That's super sweet. Uh, and I know the hardships have come from being the oldest. Um, school's been kicking my butt big time, so to the point I have cried over it, but you were always there when I need someone to cheer me up. I hope school's not... I hope school does I hope it stops kicking your butt, man. That's not that's not cool, school. I know you hate your laugh, but it brings joy to me and I and it helps calm me down. My laugh is so dumb. So many of you guys are like Pat I love your laugh. I'm like, my laugh is so stupid. I like it. Um, I also want to say thank you to you and to the other nuggets because of all you guys have given me inspiration to start drawing again. My art teacher retired over the summer and since then I lost my passion for art. But now I keep getting ideas for friend art and have been pushing my limits, challenging myself, and I'm happy uh, how it turned out. I sent a few pieces, but I'm planning on doing more soon. So that's it for this letter, I think. I hope to send more art soon. Sincerely, Fooey Girl. P.S. You said you like stickers, so I hope you like the ones, these ones. P.S.S. I love music and my taste is everywhere, so I wrote down a few. So here's the first one that Gabby or Fooey Girl has sent us so you guys can check it out. Is the original broadcast count the Broadway cast soundtrack for Dear Evan Hansen? Um, they're all really good, but my favorites are Waving Through a Window and Disappear. Both have been a, both have wonderful meanings to them that have helped me get out of the slump. And sincerely me. Ugh. Apologies, I'm yawning. Again, I get very yawny when I read a lot. I don't know why. Um, the Sincerely Me is more upbeat and makes me, ugh, makes me smile. Um, Angel with a Shotgun by The Cab, La La by The Cab, and Toy Soldiers by Maranus, Mar Marianas Trent. P.S.S.S. Um, Sniff the Triforce and Darkrai. What? Sniff the Triforce. Is that an art thing? Is it a smelly pen? <gasps> smelly pens are awesome. P.S.S.S.S. Sorry for the PS's, but all the Patrick's addicts. Ha! <laughs> anyway. But I also wanted to tell you I wrote a story for my English class based on one of your Let's Plays, and I hope you and the Fruity Loops don't mind that I used you guys in the story. If you ever want to read it, I'll be happy to send you a copy. You have to send it now. I'm going to grade you. I can already tell you you're going to pass, but I want to see what it says, because that would be awesome, Gabby. Anyway, Gabby, instead of friend art, and I'm so, oh my goodness gracious, this looks amazing. Chocolate milk. Do you like chocolate? That's one of our... Oh, God. I forget what it's freaking called, but it's the chocolate girl. We got me. Hey, look, listen. The trees burst into flames like last time. I checked Bigfoot was not a freaking flame, man. I didn't know we were hunting T-Rex. It's a bunch of pictures of me. The salt. I'm actually wearing one of the hats. You're still on my fuck list. Fuck you list. Oh, that's my freaking Uno. So here's all the amazing art. Sorry, I was reading a lot of that because there's a lot on here. Oh, wait. It says sniff the Triforce. Hold on. I can't smell anything. Oh, it doesn't smell. But well, we got a bunch of pictures of me. We got this one's from Bigfoot. This one is from the chocolate stuff. Then we got Salty Me down here in the corner. Salty Static. And then we got Uno Me. I don't know if you guys saw Salty Static. That's me. I am the salt master. And then we got one more group. Oh, snap. This is awesome. Holy crap. Gabby, this is an amazing picture. Patrick Static, the Nugget King. Look at this. It's got Darkrai, Gengar, my Team Instinct shirt. If anybody can make me that shirt, oh my god, I would buy it in a second. That is a sweet shirt. It's got my tattoo on it, too. The green Zelda freaking me. We got Duskull, Umbreon, Magikarp, and an Absol. I guess that would be my sixth Pokemon team, huh? That would be a pretty damn good team. That Magikarp, though. He would reign king. Gabby, I freaking love this. Thank you so much. I, dude, keep up with the artwork. Because, oh my goodness gracious, this is amazing. Gabby, I love it so much. Thank you. Our last letter that we've got, and then we got two, like, envelope thingies, is from the Ace Fangirl. And this is from April 6th. Oh my goodness, Patrick, you're so freaking behind. I'm so sorry, Ace Man Girl, for being so delayed on this. I'm so sorry. Don't hate me. I feel terrible. Ooh, there's a bracelet in here, though. Holy... Oh, my goodness gracious. Is there two? 
Oh, snap, crackly pops. Their team instinct bracelets. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, oh, can you guys see this? Look at the little Zapdos. Little freaking team instinct. Oh, I'm gonna always wear this. This is, okay, hold on. I need to put this on because this will stay with me. 5F. Oh, ooh, that is so cool. Look at the little Zapdos team instinct thing. That's awesome. Awesome. I love it. Okay, let's read the Ace Fangirl's letter here. I feel like a total dweeb not reading it for so long. Hiya, Pat. Long story short, I got a you know, Christmas gift, but I forgot to mail it. Better late than never, right? Basically, I'm a derp. Also, I wanted to uh, thank you because I haven't ha I haven't found your Twitch channel. I would have if I haven't found your Twitch channel, I wouldn't have met the amazing Amaze Balls people I call friends. Hope everything is going well. I love your face from Ace. Ace, thank you so much for the letter and the freaking Team Instinct bracelets. I got an extra now if I break or lose this one. I hope I don't. But it's also on the back. It says Team Instinct. That is so freaking cool. Ace, thank you so much. Dude, I'm never taking it off. Alrighty, so we have two more vanilla envelope things. That we, oh, look at the little book for me and Ophelia. Okay, so we got two more. Two last things is from Roman, I think it's Roman, I could be wrong, from Chicago, Illinois. Oh, no, no, it's Tia. I think it's from Tia. I think last name's first, then, then first name. We'll find out when we open this, though. I want to say it's from Tia. I could be wrong. I don't know, but it's from Chicago, from Chi Town, from the land of MK. I will always call it that from now on. She will hate me for calling it that. All right, let's open this bag here. Yep. Shabam. Ooh. I see friend dog. All right. It says, Hey, Patrick, I felt like drawing more art for you. I love getting art. Says, I hope you've been having an awesome day. I'd recently watched the 100 foot robot golf. You mean the saltiest game Wade has ever played? Game. And it had me laughing so hard, it really cheered me up. One, here's some questions. If you were in Soul Leader, what kind of weapon would you be and why? So I think I've seen Soul Leader once. And if I was a weapon, I'm gonna be cliche and say I want to be a scythe. Scythes are cool. Or like the wraiths, like in Dead by Daylight, his like claw, smacky, bell thing. Yeah, scythe. <laughs> uh, number two, if you're in the world of Death Note, I have a Death Note. I have a little book. So I think it's in the other room. Uh, and I recently just watched it too. Anyway. In the world of Death Note, what would you be doing? Helping L or Kira? Or would you be like Ryuk and just do your own thing? That's a tough question, man. I really liked L. I really didn't like was it N. I think I really didn't like his predecessors or his, his brothers or however that was going. Cousins? I don't know. I mm, L wouldn't trust me. I mm, I'd want to be like a Shinigami and I'd want to like observe what they're doing, but I wouldn't really care. If so I guess I'd be doing what Ryu was doing. Also, would you ever go to a convention in Illinois if you could? I've actually been wanting to go. I think they have like, I think it's called Wizards Con, I think. I could be totally friggin' wrong. I think I'm totally wrong. I know for a fact there's a Chicago Comic Con and that would be a lot of fun to go to. So maybe, maybe. But uh, thank you for always being so kind, funny, and aspira an inspiration <laughs> to everyone. Um, Tia. So the rest of the letter says, thank you for always being so kind, funny, and inspiration to everyone. Sincerely, Tia. Also, if you'd like, if you'd ever like me to draw something for you, if that's okay with you, here are my emails. And she provided some emails. Oh! She also sent us some friend art. And the first one I saw looked so freaking cool. It says Excalibur, and I freaking love the face I'm making. That is awesome. I love this art style. Super funny. Look at me. Oh, I love the shirt too. Little skull shirt. I love it. Ooh, ooh. Is this supposed to be me with a Death Note? I've always wanted a shirt like that. Did you know Shinigami, or was it? Oh fuck. What was it? It wasn't Shinigami. Angels of Death like apples? Is that what it was? I just recently what is that what it is? Death Note? Do you know that Angels of Death like apples? Is that the same? I know, but what was the note what was the what was the message that 
Kira that L said to. That Kira said to L. You don't remember? Do you know gods of death like apples? I think that's what it is. Tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. I'm probably wrong. But. Oh my god. This is an awesome picture. Okay, so this one is a Bigfoot one. I think it's a Bigfoot one. It looks like a Bigfoot one. It's got Wade, myself, and JP, it looks like. Looking for Bigfoot. But I love the shirt that I'm wearing. The little, like, derpy face shirt. Freaking love that. I got Wade over here on the right side, JP on the left. And I think I'm in the middle. Man, we need to do more Bigfoot. I know they've got, like, an update going for the new game. Or for the new map for Bigfoot. Whoa, this is mad cool. Holy crap, what the heck is this? There's a candle, a crazy teddy bear, and a skull. The teddy bear looks sick, though. Well, that teddy bear's gonna rip your friggin' face off. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's amazing. Dude, this art is awesome. Oh. Oh. It is the king of carp. The magic carp. Look at that magic carp. Got a freaking Triforce tattoo on him, too. Dude, don't mess with that carp. He'll eat your face off. All right, and then the last one looks like it's... Oh, no, that's the freaking letter I read, because I'm a dork. Anyway, Tia, thank you so much for the drawings. These are amazing. These are really freaking cool. Keep up the artwork. Yes, send me more. This would be awesome to get more. Holy crap, I love all these. Thank you so much, Tia. Yeah, definitely keep this up, because these are, these are really cool. I really like the teddy bear one. The teddy bear one's creepy as hell. Freaking love it, man. And our last package that we've got well for today uh i I'm, i want to get back to the mail to the p.o box and check so there might be another static saturday or sunday vlog this at the end of this week but it's from Alyssa the mom um from massachusetts and it's got a beautiful little gengar and pikachu on it i'm gonna gang up pikachu all right so it says please do not bend i think they might actually bent it because the post office never ever sees messages oh god this is gonna be tough to open I might be back in a second. Okay, after ripping this bag, not really apart, I have finally gotten the stuff that's inside, and I think that's it. So, let us read the letter from Melissa. It says, uh, Dear Patrick and MK, Hello from Cape Cod. My name is Alyssa the Mom across Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm sorry that my state greeted you in packs with a blizzard when the day before uh, was in the 60s. It's all good. New England is a fickle beast. Dude, it was so cold at PAX East. Oh my goodness gracious. It was the coldest I think I've ever been. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to say I don't want to go back because I freaking love the snow and stuff because I don't get to see snow that often. But definitely need to go back to Boston. Boston is a beautiful city. Um, Melissa goes on to say, I had everything to go to PAX as Boston is only an hour away from me. Unfortunately, my pregnancy wouldn't allow me to go. Oh no. Everything is fine, but I'm unable to travel due to some conditions. I hope everything... Complications, I'm sorry. I hope everything's okay. Um, I'm grateful that MK was able to film the panel in its entirety, so we all got to see the show. Um, I'm glad she was too. If you guys still haven't seen our first panel with Wade, Guard, JP, and myself, I'll try to link that down in the description because we were all so damn nervous. Wade was no normal because Wade's done panels before with, you know, much... Bigger crowds, I want to say, with Mark and everybody and stuff. So, I mean, he's he's kind of used to it. JP, Gar, and I were just like... Yes. <laughs> like, into the mic. Uh, but as, as the panel went on, we kind of warmed up to it. But I hope we can do more in the future. But uh, Alyssa goes on to say, I'm writing to say that I love what you do. I love your humor, your laugh, even though you hate it. That's included, like, everything now. It's like, we know you hate your laugh, Patrick. <laughs> And your willingness to put yourself out there in the world for a chance to make someone else's day brighter. You are awesome and thank you. I'm in my 30s and I love laughing at the Fruit Loops, plus Molly's antics in Seven Days to Die. Dude, her antics are amazing. I freaking love Molly. Um, jumping, then shaking my head at the lightning strikes and finding Bigfoot. And the mania that is Binding of Isaac. I really hope you guys like Binding of Isaac. It is a little crazy of what's going on, but I really love it. Um, I have shared my love of your channel with my daughter, Abby. Hi, Abby, if you're watching the, if you're watching the vlog. Uh, who's five? Don't worry. Parental discretion is used. Good. Uh, she will come home from school and beg me for an episode of Gang Beasts. I will, I will say in the future, across all the guys' channels, there's going to cut, like, JP's already posted his. 
There's a part where he and Wade get intertangled on the ice in a way that it looks like JP's humping him. And, and MK starts laughing. And so what does JP do? He stays in that position and continues to hump Wade for 30 seconds as we're all dead and forced to watch it. I would just skip through. You'll love that. Abby probably what to do. You don't need to know. <laughs> anyway, that, that's going to come up. So viewer discretion is advised there. Uh, we just have to first go over that she can't use the words that you guys do. That's good parenting right there. I'm trying to cut down on my my colorful language, but uh, I can't censor myself all the time because it's just how I talk. So uh, I kind of rambled a bit, but that's how it goes. I love it when people ramble. I love I love reading in general. But anyway, you're an awesome king of the nuggets, and we love you. I hope with your Twitch subs, you are soon able to escape your real job. More so, I think, you, for your candor with your struggles, as it helps so many of us. Um, I have clinical depression and generalized anxiety disorder. However, I am doing well and have been for a while. I'm super glad to hear that. It is always good, for me at least, to hear people speaking out and acknowledging that mental, orders, m mental disorders exist. It can and does get better, and that no one is alone. So thanks, Pat. I hope that you know that on your dark days, we are here for you too. I really, really do appreciate that. Um, I usually hit a lot of you guys up on Twitch because sometimes I'll just be like feeling like the worst and I'll be scheduled or, you know, telling people I'll be streaming and there'll be like moments before I start streaming like I really don't feel like doing anything. And then I'll start streaming. I'll start talking about what's bothering me or whatever. And then by the end of the stream, I'm like, you know what? I'm really glad I streamed. Get to talk to all my friends and just say screw you to the problems of the world and just play games with my friends um they got a lot more serious than i intended so i'll just say that i hope you like the friend art from both myself and abby and all i did was pause an episode of gang beast for her she did her work on her own i'm excited to see and finally here's a message from abby herself i like it when you guys play gang beast and ultimate chicken horse i think you and your friends are funny thank you for making videos Thanks again, Pat, Alyssa, the mom, and Abby. Well, Abby and Alyssa, thank you so much for the very kind letter. I hope to hear from you guys soon again, whether it's through letter form or email. I would love to see, or even on Twitch. I'm going to keep my eye out now, but I'm excited to see what Alyssa has drawn for us. Alyssa and Abby. It looks like the first picture we got. Oh my goodness gracious. I am riding at King Dodo. That is amazing. I've got all these dead dinos under me. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, I play a lot of Ark on Twitch, and I tamed a prime dodo, and I can ride big dodos, and yeah, I am the king of the dodos. This is amazing, Alyssa. I love it. Uh, the next one we got is, go ahead, call me weak one more time. And it's a little Magikarp yelling at the Pokedex, because Magikarps are worthless, worthless fish from the Pokedex. I find them as the most amazing thing ever. And then, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Abby's drawn of our gang beasts. It looks like Wade is over on a cloud and JP is going after Wade. Gar and I are doing our own thing. It is amazing. Oh my God, Abby, I freaking love that. That is adorable, adorable. Oh my God, look at Gar's wolf ears. Ah! Abby, thank you so much for the artwork. Dude, I'm gonna have to frame this and put it up because I freaking love it. I'm gonna put it on the fridge. Thank you so much, Abby and Alyssa. I freaking love the art. Gosh, I love the Dodo one too. I love me riding Dodos. Dodos are awesome. <laughs> well, guys, that will finish and conclude the mail that I have picked up from the P.O. Box. You still have to go get the P.O. Box mail that's still there, but this is all the ones, this is all the mail that I've had for like the last month and a half. And I deeply, deeply apologize for just getting into it now. I know a lot of these, a lot of these letters extended from, you know, even the part one stuff was from like late March to like early April, and we're halfway through May now. And I, I I'm so, so sorry for getting to this so late. A lot of things are very hectic with my job and with this Twitch streaming and stuff. I've been trying to do a lot more Twitch streams. Um, it's 
I feel like it's just an easier way and a more fun way to talk to you guys one on one in a sense where I could read chat and can interact. You guys torture me with stuff like Immortal Redneck and stuff, but uh, thank you guys so much for sending me friend art, the personal letters, the ones that I didn't read off camera, uh, or the ones that I did read off camera that people didn't want on camera. Um, thank you guys so much for being part of this amazing community. You guys are all so very important. Don't ever sell yourself short and think that you're a waste of space or a waste of time because you guys are not. I love each and every one of you guys so very much. So thank you guys so much for being part of this amazing community. Uh, I will see you guys all next time for the next vlog, which should be at the end of this week, Saturday or Sunday-ish. And uh, I'll have some more news for you regarding the Omegle stuff as I've got to plan out when and when, when and not where, but when we're going to be doing it. So again, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you guys all later. See you guys then!